Hi guys, my name is CTK, and today I'm going to talk about the Wii U. Because after all, with all the hype up of Smash for Wii U coming out yesterday, it only makes sense, right? But my question is, is with all the hype up, is it going to sell consoles? Let's think about this for a second. Since 2012, Smash Brothers has been getting non-stop announcements, and fans are eager to get back into the game. And with Nintendo trying to win back the hardcore gamer audience that they lost on the Wii, yeah, it's a pretty big deal. After all, whose fault is it for the poor console sales? I mean, is there anyone even to blame for this scenario? It really comes down to the consumers and developers, and I'm going to explain why these two need to work together in order to bring out the Wii U's potential. I mean, come to think of it, Nintendo has had this issue with third-party companies since the original NES. It becomes more obvious with the N64, GameCube, and Wii because all three struggled to make the exact same sales as their original first two consoles for Nintendo. And why? Because of the third party support. The developers either think that Nintendo has abandoned their ways of the hardcore gamer, or they feel that the systems are not powerful enough to reach the same audience that Microsoft and Sony has for many years. But that's where fans are going to tell you that a console doesn't need powerful graphics or a strong processor to give the same type of audience. As long as the games themselves are doing a tremendous job. This became really obvious with Wii where it oversold PS2 in sales and it is now currently the highest selling console of all time. But high sales does not equal game sales. Nintendo during their Wii era barely did anything to promote the games. I mean, the one I, I think, can think of off the top of my head was Monster Hunter 3. I mean, did anyone even know that WiiWare games actually exist? In fact, go to your system right now and see if you can name off the top of your head five games that weren't made by the big three. With Wii U, they tried to fix this problem by bringing the crowd back with more titles that cater to gamers. After all, we have Bayonetta 2, Hyrule Warriors, Rayman Legends, Zombie, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and plenty more coming out over time. It's not just those titles, it's also their own titles. Mario Kart 8, Super Mario 3D World, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Wind Waker HD, and Pikmin 3. There's also the indie games. Go in your eShop right now and tell me how many indie games you can find on Wii U that I have yet to see on other consoles. So while it's great to see all this, it stems from the problem I brought up before, the lack of console sales. The third party developers feel like they don't want to waste time on a Wii U game that they know is not going to sell very well, and when they actually do make those games, it's a half-assed version which would upset any fan. The gamers then boycott other games made by the same companies, leaving Nintendo to fend for themselves. But wait! If nobody buys the games, then the developers feel like they don't have to try. And they don't try because they know that nobody's gonna buy the games. It's an endless loop! <laughs> that is why Smash Brothers has become the determined system seller. But we don't know that yet because, like any platform, it needs to grow. And it needs this more than ever in order to win back that hardcore gamer audience. But even with the hype, will Nintendo be able to maintain their steady progress throughout the console's lifespan? Or are they just making another mistake? Is there enough game variety on the Wii U to justify purchasing one? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know you guys want to see me do more vlogs. I'm really excited to get back into this. I'm pumping with ideas. And on that note, I will see you guys next time.